Okay, here is a time chart that I made. And this is from basically studying a chronological Bible. Something like this is very, very easy to make. You just follow the events that the chronological Bible tells you. And uh, you, can, you can make your own timeline if you'd like to. This is a time here when Israel is a united kingdom. These are the kings, Saul, David, Solomon, Rehoboam. There is in the life of Rehoboam, Solomon's son, there is a division that takes place where you have two separate kingdoms. To the north is Israel, the capital is Samaria. To the south is Judah, and the capital is Jerusalem. And as you can see, the northern kingdom has under the influence of, let's see, Solomon, Jeroboam, and Ahab, they fall into idolatry, and the northern kingdom is no more in 722 before Christ when God brings Assyria in. In the south, some of these names are going to be familiar. Jonah, he issued a warning to Assyria, if you can believe that. So God is actually interested in the Gentile in the Old Testament. These names here, Isaiah and Micah, they, or at least Isaiah, is on the scene when the northern kingdom of Israel falls, and there is no more Israel to the north, only in the south. Some of these names you'll recognize from the scripture. Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Josiah. And what we have here is the first deportation to Babylon. This is in Daniel chapter 1, when Daniel and his friends are taken. A little later, 597 before Christ, Ezekiel and 10,000 Israelites are taken to Babylon. And in 586 before Christ, this is the total destruction of Jerusalem under a king called Zedekiah. And these guys are taken to Babylon. So here's what's important. There is a 70-year exile in Babylon that takes place when history is really not moving forward at all in the land of Israel or in the land of Judah. Any who survived, the Jews are now in Babylon under judgment for 70 years until 70 years are completed, then God says, okay, you can return back home. And here we start to have names like Ezra and Nehemiah and the rebuilding of Jerusalem. And this starts to happen in the ninth chapter of the book of Daniel. When Daniel is a really, really, really old guy, he prays and the uh, exiles begin to return almost immediately thereafter to go home and to rebuild. And then there's guys like Haggai and Zechariah and Malachi. They come along, you know, some decades later and encourage the reconstruction of Jerusalem when the people get a little bit lax. And then over here, you have the book of Esther in this land that was called Assyria and was called Babylon. It's now called Persia, where some Jews opt not to come home and they remain in the Persian Empire. So that is the general flow of Old Testament history. A united kingdom, a divided kingdom. The north gets destroyed, 722 before Christ. And the southern kingdom of Judah, where history goes forward from in not only Jerusalem, but also in Babylon at the same time. And finally, it goes forward only in Babylon. Talk to you guys soon.